Mongoose Jake here in a different location than normal. This is actually in the uh, sales office where I work. And I'm here because I have to stay overnight um, working in the holiday weekend. And somebody has to be here. I volunteered to get the extra hours. You know, yada, yada, yada. But on to what you have in front of you. This, of course, is the uh, iconic Nerf Slingfire. And this happens to be one of my absolute favorite Nerf branded blasters. And... I mean, it's comfy, it's neat, it's got the lever action, and it's magazine-fed, so it's actually, you know, fairly use, useful overall. You know, not much, not much to complain about. It looks nice, feels nice, works, works well, with one caveat. It's weak. It doesn't shoot at elite standard even, and, of course, compared to, you know, I, I'm a Busby guy, and I, I also like X-Shot and Dart Zone. Well, Busby, X-Shot, Dart Zone, all are more powerful brands. And they all shoot at 80 feet per second or higher in most cases. Whereas sling the uh, good old reliable sling fire here uh, fires substandard even in nerfs standards. This thing actually will shoot in in around about the mid 60s. Not much, actually, not much more powerful than a jolt. And that's the problem here. Now the, the thing is, you don't want to go crazy on if you want to still be able to flick it and fling and do some neat moves with the lever. You don't want to go crazy on your uh, spring rate. So what I'm going to try here is, uh, this is still going to be a very low uh, spring compared to what I put in, say, Retaliators, Recons, or Busby blasters for that. And normally I put a 7 or a 9 kilogram spring in those. I'm going to do a four and a half. I just want to see what we get out of it. You know, because this is an NF Strike spring, and it's a very inexpensive spring. This was under three dollars, I do believe. I'll put a link in the description of this video to the exact spring that I purchased. But we're gonna see exactly what kind of performance gains we get. Can we get this thing from the mid 60s, which mine reads on my chronograph around 65 to 66 normally, with uh, both Nerf Elites, uh, AccuStrikes, or the new Adventure Force waffle tips. That's what I've been using in it lately. And it reads about 65 or 66. So I'm gonna test it with this four and a half kilogram NF Strike spring, and we'll see how, uh, how it does. But let's get to it. Well, the springs, uh, the springs feel to be. Uh, I'm going to guess that the stock spring is about a two to two and a half kilogram, just by, just by <laughs> literally touching and feeling. So we'll see how this works. Okay, after, after putting it all back together and testing it out, what I had hoped to avoid is now actually still going to happen. The, uh, the thing about upgrading the sling fire is that the lever action is on a clutch system. Of course, it's intended to you know safeguard against you actually snapping the lever off and whatnot. Well, I was hoping four and a half kilograms was light enough that it wouldn't cause the clutch to skip and slip. Well, that, that is happening. Now, when I can get it to fully engage, and I mean, you can do that actually to show it, you can get it to engage by helping it along by pushing with the jam door open push the uh, push the whole bolt sled backwards I had to think there for a second <laughs> push the whole bolt sled backwards and help out the lever case of course you can't actually use the blaster this way but it's good enough for me to get some uh, shots through on my chronograph and while firing and I, I will actually catch the dart back here it is getting anywhere from 10 to 20 feet per second higher than stock. Anywhere from I'm getting anywhere from 75 to 85, and that compares to the 65 that this exact blaster uh, was getting when it was 100% stock. And I have not removed the air restrictor, so this is, you know, uh, just simply a drop-in upgrade, the four and a half kilogram spring. Now, of course, that will mean I have to go in there and, of course, uh, reinforce that clutch to get it to be able to fire and work. I don't feel that the four and a half kilogram spring, I don't feel that it's draw weight 
is too much, but it's just enough that it's overriding that clutch. I don't think it's going to damage the uh, the lever, but it's just just enough where if I help it along, it'll fire just fine. But it was just kind of an experiment, and I will reinforce the clutch, and then I'll use this. And now it's competitive against a stock Busby blaster. And it, as bad as it is to say that, you know, it's that's what it's going to take. It takes a the four and a half kilogram spring will make this thing usable. Like I say, if you're just at a neighborhood Nerf War, it it'll be enough of an upgrade to make your sling fire usable. Otherwise, you're at a pretty big performance disadvantage running it. What's well, a very, very neat blaster. But I'll, I'll upgrade my clutch and get it in order. And then this thing will be a usable blaster compared to something that's slightly modified. Uh, but this is Mongo Shake with my video on testing out the 4.5 kilogram spring from NF Strike because that was the whole intention of this to see what will it do just dropping in the 4.5 kilogram spring. Will I need to work on the clutch? And the answer, of course, is yes. But I think I think it'll be worthwhile for that uh, 15 20 feet per second gain like I said it was this was firing at 65 feet per second stock and now I'm getting it to read all the way up to about 80 to 85 so puts it into stock Busby blaster range uh, and you know some of the stock X shot so it it's now now a nice usable but not too powerful to where I, I wouldn't you know use it with my family so this is Jake Showing, showing what the uh, four and a half kilogram spring from NF Strike will do. I will put the link in the description below of where you can get that spring yourself. Of course, that is through NF Strike. And as long as the code still works, uh, you can use the code OFFERS, that's O-F-F-E-R-S, to get 10% off. I'll double check that, and if it still works, I'll put that in the description below so that you, so I can remind you. But again, this is Jake. Hope you enjoyed this.